Hi, welcome to Blind Owl Outdoors. Today I'm going to talk about the Marlin Spike Knot. And let's just say this is the Marlin Spike, imaginary. And for this, all you do is take your right hand and twist your thumbs towards you to make a loop. Twist a little more and it'll fold down on itself. Pull that loop through the hole. Put your Marlin Spike in there and pull it together and it makes a dandy marlin spike. All you do is pull your thing out, it comes right undone. Show you one more time. Just twist the rope with your right hand towards you. Again twist a little more, it'll fold down. And then you take the center piece, pull it out, slide your spike in, pull both ends tight, and you have a Marlin spike knot. The Marlin spike knot is an interesting knot because it's the beginning of a lot of other knots. Let's say you turn your turn your rope over, fold it down, pull it through. Now instead of instead of pulling it on the Marlin spike, just pull it together, and you wind up with a slip knot. Very nice. Or you can take the end and put it through the slip knot thing and you wind up with a nice stopper knot which is very handy and the coolest thing to me and I'm I'm kind of a uh, all bowling type guy I use a bowling knot for everything if I can if you take twist it towards you again twist it again so that it lays down pull this part up loose Take your your tag in and go around through the the hole and put it here with the loop and just pull it together loosely. The knot will capsize right into a perfect bowling knot every time. To me, that's very interesting. So if you were going to make something like you wanted to tie out a, a tarp or something, you could very easily again just. Twist it towards you, twist it again until it lays down, pull your piece out, take this end, go through, say, your grommet hole, go back through the hole there, just like that, grab the, the, the two ends here of your loop together, and just pull it together loosely, and it just it just capsizes right into a bowling knot every time. Uh, it's very interesting. Another thing I saw in a video, uh, the same place actually where I saw this, a guy used, did he did two of them. He put, to make a bend, made his twist, and then pulled the thing out. Had one standing in going down this way, and then made, stayed another one with another cord, made a, a loop, and folded it down, pulled it through. And this one here had this, this standing in going up, then what he did was took this end through here and this end through here snug them up a little bit and then just let let each side capsize on itself just like that and now you have a, a twin bowlin bend which is fantastically strong. I mean, I can pull on this as hard as I can, it won't slide. And then again, because it's a bowling, all you have to do is just take the little ear here, push it down just slightly, and everything everything just loosens up. So it's a fantastic little knot. Um, I still like the, the modifications I made for tying a marlin spike knot, is I take, let's say this would be my line coming from a tree or something, I put my spike on the rope, wrap around it once, go around the back, and then just make a clockwise loop, put it over that like that, pull it down tight, and that's a oops, that's a perfectly tight handle there that, that just works fantastic. And again, this would be good for giving you added strength if you're say you're gonna you're pulling a tree or something or or it really works fantastic for you when you're working with fine cords 
Like let's say you are lashing up a tripod or something and when it comes time to do your frapping, you just put in a, a little toggle, which is a knot just like this, and you can tie your frapping down uh, super tight. So it's really a, a useful knot. And again, same thing here, you just slide your, your marlin spike out and it just not just comes right apart on its own. So that's all I have for you right now. Thanks for watching.